Greetings everyone, this is Evangelist Josh. Last week we started the teaching on the kingdom principles which are what guides a child of God. Forget religion, you have to be a follower of Christ and uh, learn and practice the kingdom principles. We spoke about that and, and saw that uh, salvation is by grace through faith not works works are, are by product of salvation but it does not cause salvation today we talk about the other kingdom principles and uh, one of them is you reap what you sow it's just a fact it's not me who decided this it's the almighty um the word so occurs around 116 times in the Bible. And we see God does not come down every morning, no, he's everywhere, and starts to run things. He has set laws and principles that govern the earth. Jeremiah 33 verse 5 says, But this is what the Lord says, I would no more reject my people than I would change my laws that govern night and day, earth and sky. Amen. So, uh, we have, for example, the law of gravity. It's God who set it up that way. We have the sun, moon, stars suspended in the air. He set up those laws to govern those uh, uh, beings. So about reaping what you sow, Galatians 6, 7 says, Do not be deceived, God is not mocked, for whatever one sows, that will he also reap. So I'll tell you, if you plant a seed of lemon, you won't harvest a pineapple. If you sow a seed of apples, you'll harvest seeds, uh, fruit of apple. If you show kindness, you'll get kindness back. Sometimes these things don't happen immediately, but over the course of one's life, you are paid back what you give. And I know sometimes God's grace covers us, especially when we are ignorant. Uh, but once you know this principle, there's no turning back. If you are mean to people, people will be mean to you eventually. Not immediately, but one day when you need mercy, you'll not be shown mercy. So you have to show mercy to be shown mercy. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 7 says, The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. The Old Testament talks about tithing. You should give 10% of your tithe. It's a very good guide that uh, we should use i also use that um, but with the new covenant you're told to give cheerfully whatever you have decided on in your heart you shouldn't give 10 percent because you are scared that uh, god will make sure you get an accident so you can pay it off he sees your heart anyway if you want to give 30 percent of your income give it if you want to give 10%, do it. If you want to give 5%, do it. Because it says you should give what you purpose in your heart. That's the New Testament. Although it's good to use that guideline of 10%. And God is not poor that he wants your stuff. It has to do with your heart. He teaches you to have a perspective that he's the one who gives you everything you have. Proverbs 22 verse 8 says, Whoever sows injustice will reap calamity, and the rod of his fury will fail. See the principle of sow and reap? It says if you sow injustice, you, 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 you are unfair to people. You will reap calamity. You will have trouble in your life. You might not live to the years that God wanted you to live. Or you will have drama in your life. No peace. Sicknesses. It's not me who said, don't crucify me, it's the word. Because you've sown injustice, you reap calamity. And as I close, I'll read 
uh, the words of Jesus in Matthew 7, 16 to 18. You will know them by their fruits. Who will you know? People. If, if people exhibit generosity, they exhibit being stingy, or uh, they are kind, or how they behave. You'll know that's the product of their fruits, what they've sown. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Very good question. You can't harvest grapes from thorn bushes. You have to have planted grapes. Then you'll be able to uh, gather the fruit of grapes. Even so, every good tree bears good fruit. So if I look at my behavior, I should be able to say if I'm a good tree or a bad tree. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. So I should examine myself, you should examine yourself and see um, how you behave, your attitudes towards the things of God, how you treat others. And if you see, and if I see things are not good, I pray for God to uh, sow his good seed in me through the Holy Spirit. And gradually I'll change and become a good tree so that I can bear good fruits. So folks, that's the second principle. I'll remind you the first one was salvation is by grace through faith alone. And today we've learned that God has laws that govern the universe. And one of them that affects us is you reap what you sow. So let's be purposeful and let's be thoughtful about what we do. Because everything I do, everything you do is a seed. It will grow, germinate, and I'll harvest what I planted. If you need prayer, contact us. And until next time, may the Lord God Almighty be with you and your own. Amen.